It's Diddy Can. Guess what? I'm back, baby. Guess what I'm back doing today? I said I wasn't doing this no more, but guess what? They reached out to me yesterday and asked me to do this route. I want the money, not the clout. So guess what we about to do? We about to do some drop off. We're about to knock the songs off. We are about to do some drop off. Now, we do have 21 deliveries to do. Y'all know my folks see like the floor, I thought y'all knew. Um, stay tuned to the full video. I'm gonna tell you guys how many miles it's gonna be and how long it took. Hey. I'm a king, not a rook, let's go. First thing first, look at this, baby. These are all the bags we had from the last time we did drop off, and we have to take these joints upstairs. I'm talking about, it's a million, quadrillion of these joints, but uh, it's time for us to get on point, let's get it. A few moments later. <coughs> Y'all see what's going on, baby. These are the routes when you come upstairs. They got routes everywhere. Y'all see them rerouted up, baby. This joint is very nice. Like, look at that upstairs up there. It's very nice up here, baby. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Fuck. This is our route right here. We're about to load this joint up so we can get these bucks. Let's get it. Now we have our route set up, baby. This is what we use to put uh, all the bags on right here, baby. You know what I'm talking about? <coughs> Y'all see the riggedy. Y'all see the route ski. I also just ran into a subscriber. Huge shout out to her. She watching this video. You know, she said I definitely helped a lot of people. I'm, I'm, I'm the one that taught her everything she know. So it's time for us to go out here and scold. Let's go. Y'all see what's going on, baby. We got everything loaded up. It's time for us to get our pockets on swollen up. Let's go. Just like that, we are here to drop off order number one. The day has just begun, and guess what? It ain't no sun, baby. It ain't no sun out here today, baby. I'm talking about it's raining, and it's supposed to snow all night. About to get our pocket tight. Step back into the photo, smack. Let's go. I was just doing the drops on y'all. I had to show y'all this. Look, this is what you got to deal with sometimes. Look at all these bags. How many weeks have you been saving these bags? You out of pocket. You out of pocket for this, baby. You are out of pocket. Drop like it's hot. So we're gonna step back. I, I forgot one, see, let me. Over here, step back and the photo yard not off. Smack! We gone. And last but not least, baby, order 21. Can you do something? 21. 21 Savage. If you want it, you can have it. Step back and the photo yard not off. Smack! We gone. Drop off, drop off, drop off. Went out there tonight they saw so y'all saw us get busy. I'm glad you guys are with me. Now, that was only 42 miles. It took us two hours and we made $200. Now I got my game from a scholar when they hear me they holler. Now, it was pretty sweet, but it's not sweet like that all the time. I'm, just, I'm gonna let you guys know that right now. I'm gonna give you guys a behind the scenes on when we got started on drop off and everything for those of you who may be new to the channel. Now, we started drop off probably around September of 2022. Initially, we were not doing these routes. Like these routes right here, we weren't doing those. We were doing a C test pickup. It's a COVID? That's all I'm gonna say. I ain't gonna say too much of it. If y'all know what I'm talking about, y'all know what I'm talking about because you know they might strike me on, on YouTube for this. So I ain't gonna say all the word and all that stuff. So we used to pick up C test from CVS. Now, we had two pickups and then one drop off. We pick up one from one CVS, then we go to the other CVS after that, then we meet the uh, the pickup person at the airport. It was 104 miles and we received $160. Now, I know people were saying, that ain't even that good. It was 104 miles of 160, that's terrible. Hey, I'm gonna tell you right now, it was super sweet. It literally took us like two and a half hours to make $160 and we were in a car. You can use a, a little car, you can use uh, something very small. You don't need no big old SUV or anything because you're only dropping off a box this big. So you can put that box anywhere. So that's how we started doing drop off. After a while, I reached out to the routing manager at the time. And I'm like, look, y'all got some old stuff. I'm trying to get busy. That was super sweet. We went from DoorDash and doing all them other apps to making 160 and it was, at, oh, 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 I forgot. And what was super sweet about that route was we used to have to pick up the specimens at 6 p.m. So it ain't more no traffic, it was none. And all, like 85% of it was highway. So we just, uh, pick up, pick up, and then we go. Shoot on the highway, get to the airport, drop that joint off. Two and a half hours, we'd probably be back home by then. Two and a half hours, 160 in the car. We went out there to go far. So it was super sweet. I reached out to them. I'm like, you guys have any more routes? He's like, yeah, I do have some more routes, but it's kind of far for you. I don't know if you want to do it. It's in Chicago. I'm like, nah, I don't know. I'm trying to get this money. I'm trying to get this money. Understand me. Hey, yeah, I want to do that route. So 
we started doing these routes. Now we did the route over and over and over and over and over. So we was doing the route, everything was going okay. To be honest with you guys, I really don't like the route, these routes that much because it's too much getting in and out of the car. I told you guys before, from the first route, we was picking up two things and then dropping off the airport and making 160, just like that. Two hours, two and a half hours. But with these routes, you are delivering pre-cooked meals. Now with the pre-cooked meals, you go to the warehouse, you pick up the stuff, and then you drop off at each house. We had 21 deliveries today. So uh, 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 you go to different address and drop, drop them off, just like that. And you receive $200. Now, I know that the first route, you're gonna drive more miles, but it's way, it's usually way faster. Let me say that. Because with this route we're doing today, that we did today, um, sometimes we can knock it out like two hours like we did today. It's only been literally, honestly, it's only been like, we knocked it out in two hours, probably like this time and like one or two other times, like three times. And we did it, more, we probably did it 60 routes, 56, 60 routes. So honestly, you're not always gonna get done in two hours. Most of the time we was done our first ride we were doing like three and a half hours three three and a half hours somewhere around that area Two hundred dollars is not bad for three and three and a half hours in the car um, Then we end up switching routes. I switched the routes because one guy left and then I'm like I, Let me get that route because one of the other times that when we finished the route in two hours We used we did his route. So it was super sweet. I'm like, oh, we need that route Then it, it started getting critical. It had jumped from uh, three and a half hours to that one time we did two hours and then it started becoming five hours, a five hour route for $200. Then it started becoming not really worth it to us. And we was in the Sprinter van on top of that. So it wasn't no longer worth it for us. So we end up just not doing the route no more. We told them we don't want to do the route no more. Uh, put us on call. So pretty much we're on call. We still signed up with them. We're still on board. We still signed up with them and everything. And if they need extra hands, sometimes they reach out to us, let us know, hey, we got a route. Are you available? And I say yes or no. So today I said yes for the $200. I thought it was going to be sweet and it was super sweet. So that's what happened with the drop off with us, period. Now, I did not like the route in the first place because again, it was taking too long and I felt that when we had the Sprinter van, we could make more money faster because we have a bigger vehicle. But that's, that wasn't the case all the time. I just want to tell you guys that right now. I did make a mistake on that because some Tuesdays is good and some Tuesdays is terrible. Sometimes, sometimes we make some money and sometimes we don't make money. But with the drop off, we had guaranteed money every time we was out there on the grind. Now that leads me into this subject. Drop off, about drop off, drop off, drop off. Everybody want to know about drop off. Everybody been trying to sign up for drop off. Everybody been reaching out to me about drop off. I literally, let me say this. Drop off had a referral program going on at the time. They said if you send people our way and they approve and everything and they start doing routes, that you will receive $200 per person. I'm just gonna be very transparent with you guys and let you guys know. They said you're gonna receive $200 per person. Literally, I told everybody on the videos, if you haven't watched those videos, go back, 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 back when. It's like one of my, it's like the high, a high view video. So go back and check out the drop off videos and you'll see what I'm talking about. I told everybody, send me your information. Email me your name your, it was it the name, phone number, address, or what, no, name, I think name, email address, and what state you're in or something like that. Cause that's the information that they needed. They sent the email out, they want everybody to be referral. Literally, I literally sent them hundreds, literally hundreds, hundreds of people for a referral. I emailed them over and over and over, groups and groups and groups and groups of email with different people, people in Texas, Florida, every, I'm talking about all over the United States. I literally emailed them, every single email that you guys sent me, I sent it to them. And unfortunately, they never replied ever. Not one time. They never said, okay, nothing. They never said nothing. I never got a reply email or nothing from them. So I don't know what happened with that. Um, I also got a lot of comments from you guys saying that they signed up for drop off. Drop off, I'm reaching back out to them. They don't know what's going on. What's going on with this? My guy, Boss Over K, was saying that he don't really fool with drop off because people have been reaching out to him and they ain't answering. So I'm going to give you guys an insight on some things that I know for sure about drop off. Now, don't get me wrong, I will say drop off is super sweet when you're doing these uh, routes like this. If you have a car and you can get $200 easy like that, I would definitely uh, recommend that you guys, if you can, get in to sign up and go out there and get busy. They never, they never like don't pay. They pay me every time, on time. One time I did have a dispute, but I had to let them know, hey, y'all need to fix that. But other than that, they did fix it and everything was great with drop off. I had no issues. But they do have a problem with management at drop off. They have a very, bad problem with management. So I'm gonna give you guys some something that I know for sure. What I know is that since we started drop off in from uh, September of 2022, we have had three different routing managers, three. Now, the first guy, he was there the longest. 
He was our Rodman manager. He was out here. I think he lived, in, he lived in Chicago or something like that. He was out here. We was getting busy. Then after that, they reached out to everybody through, uh, through the group and let, the, let us know that he no longer works there. Now, after that guy ended up leaving, we actually got a routing manager from Texas. Now, he still lives in Texas. He don't live here. He lives in Texas, but he was foreseeing everything that was going on here. He had to let everybody know this, this, this. You got to do this, this, this. Don't do this, this, this person do this. Um, whenever they needed me to do an extra route or something or reach out to me, he reached out to me let me know. Yeah, boom. I got this route. Can you do it? I, that, that's the guy that reached out to me to do the dog food. The dog food. The dog food route. So, he was with drop off. Well, I don't know how long he was with drop off. He was with, he was the route manager for Chicago area for probably like three or four months. He was three or four months. Then, guess what? We got another message saying he is no longer working for drop off. He reached out to everybody, said, I'm no longer going to be working for drop off. This is my last week. I hope you guys enjoyed your time here and all this stuff. Boom, boom, boom. The whole setup, the whole email. So, boom, that happened. Then, after that, guess what? We got a new manager. A router manager right now. It's he probably been here for probably two months, one and a half, a year, a month and a half, something like that. Very new. So I'm just saying that something seems to be a problem at drop off. Some internal management problems. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if the workload is too much. I don't really know. I don't really know what's going on with drop off. But you guys want to think about that while you're out there trying to sign up. They is a good company. They're gonna pay you. You ain't gonna have no issues with them. But as far as the management goal, as far as replying, as far as that, that type of stuff, communication, they lack in that area. I'm just gonna let you guys know the honest to God truth. Now, another thing that I do know is they have a very long waiting list. I'm talking about everybody waiting, 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 waiting. But I also wanna say this. Today, when I went there to pick up these orders that we just did, I did see two new drivers I've never seen before. And huge shout out to the subscribers. You know who I'm talking about. If you're watching this video, huge shout out to you. I really appreciate you. Um, and I wanna say this before I go. I want to say this. One thing that I do want to say is I just love seeing the subscribers. I want, I love seeing the subscribers that appreciate what I'm doing. She was very appreciative. She said that I pretty much helped her learn everything that she learned that she knows so far. And also she said, don't think that what I'm doing is not helping people because it definitely helped her out. So huge shout out to her. I really appreciate it. I definitely like when I see the subscribers, y'all and they get busy, y'all get that money. I look, hey, I'm gonna tell you right now, it just puts a smile on my face. What she said, I'm just cheesing, I'm just cheesing, I'm cheesing, like, yeah. I'm cheesing because that's the reason why I'm here. I'm here to help as many people as possible. I know that some of you guys don't like it. You don't like it, you feel like I'm oversaturating the market. I understand all that, I get y'all part of and what y'all think, but I'm here to help the people so we can all be equal. I'm here to help everybody as much as I can so you can go out there and get them bands. That's all I want to say. But again, huge shout out to the subscriber. I hope you're watching this video. I definitely appreciate talking to you and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Get the clapping, a bay bay. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're not subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up and make sure you lock in tomorrow because it's going back down because we ain't playing around because all 2024, I'll be doing the put up to... Uh, Let's go get it pop like Crisco. I will see you guys on the next one. We going, we going, we flowing. You already know it. It's DDK, and I'm on my way.